Hello and welcome. Guess what? It's new bike day at my house. This is my brand new 2022 Trek Domane AL3 road bike. I was at my local bike shop on other business and I saw this bike on the showroom floor. In fact, it was the only new drop bar road bike in their stock. Well, my interest was piqued. So I wandered over and had a look, and the more I looked, the more I was mesmerized. Now that my back issues have largely been resolved, I am planning to do a lot more road riding than I was able to last year, in addition to mountain biking. I had started prepping my 2017 Nishiki Maricopa for the season, and in fact this is the only other new road bike I ever bought back in 2018. But the Domane was so very tempting, especially since it was sized properly for me at 54 centimeters. Instead of buying it on the spot, as I had done in this very shop with my 2019 Specialized Rock Hopper, however, I decided to wait a bit. I was kind of undecided, but my friends and family said, you know what, you've worked hard all your life. Now that you're retired, you should buy that bike and enjoy it. And you know what? They are right, gosh darn it. So I went back the next day, April 5th, and I bought it. And here it is. The first thing you notice is the sapphire blue paint fading to dark charcoal gray. Very pretty. The paint has a metal flake component in it and the sparkle really pops on the blue parts in bright sunlight. But there is more to the bike than just good looks. The frame is Trex 100 series alpha aluminum with a tapered head tube. The frame has what Trek calls its endurance geometry with super nice welds throughout. Now for you and me, that means a slightly more upright, relaxed riding position than their race-oriented bikes have. Basically, this bike is good for short, fast rides, as well as longer touring rides, and everything in between. It can even be used for bike packing, as it has provisions for a rear rack and four sets of bottle cage mounts. One of the cage mounts is on top of the frame, so you could mount a bento box or a tube bag if you wanted to. Oh, and out back is a removable fender mount. The frame also has a duo trap Bluetooth provision. The fork is Trex Isospeed carbon fork, which mitigates vibrations on the handlebars. Now this ostensibly reduces arm fatigue on long rides. On the other end of the tapered head tube, is a 42 centimeter wide Bontrager Comp VRS handlebar. It has a variable profile, meaning that the flats are flattened out a bit, and they transition to a circular cross section in the drops. And honestly, I was surprised at how comfortable those ovalized flats are on this handlebar. The handlebar itself is secured to the bike with a 90 millimeter long. Bontrager Elite Blender Compatible 7 degree unit. It is presently set for a downward angle, but if I need to flip it over for an upward angle later on for my back, well, that's an easy operation. Brakes are Shimano Sura combination shifters and cable operated Tektro calipers with 160mm Tektro discs front and rear. And while my mountain bikes have disc brakes, this is my first road bike with discs. Nothing against rim brakes, but now having experienced discs on a road bike, holy guacamole, what a difference. I am definitely a convert. I mentioned the Sora combo shifters. The rest of the drivetrain is also Shimano Sora. The crank set consists of 170 mm cranks and a 50 34 tooth compact chainring set. And the pedals that you see here are specialized beach cruiser bike units 
which I assume were installed by the shop since they also sell specialized bikes. They will eventually be replaced by Look Kio clipless pedals. The derailers are Sora R3000 front and rear, with the rear having a 34 tooth maximum accommodation. The cassette is a Shimano HG400 11 to 32 tooth range, 9 speed unit, and the chain is a Shimano HG53. The wheels and tires are Bontrager, Trek's house brand for components. The wheels are Bontrager Paradigms in 700C by 21mm size, and they are tubeless ready. The tires are Bontrager R1 Hard Case Lights, 700C by 32mm. There's no information on the Trek website about whether these are also tubeless ready. I would presume not, since they didn't go out of the way to say so. These tires have extra puncture protection and an all-road tread with a slick center for low rolling resistance and a finely patterned tread on the shoulders in real world terms I find these tires to be really fast last but not least the saddle is a Bontrager P3 verse comp it has steel rails and a 145 millimeter width. The saddle is nicely padded and it has a prominent relief channel. I've only had two rides at this recording, but so far I'm really pleased with the saddle, especially the relief channel. And that's probably enough said about that. As I said, I have ridden the bike twice so far for a bit more than an hour each time. My initial impressions are definitely favorable. The bike rides steady and super smoothly, especially with the relatively upright riding position. As I said, I've got back issues, so I'm pretty keenly aware of this aspect. It's also a fast bike. I mean, really fast on the flats and scary fast on the descents. And yes, I enjoy that perhaps a bit too much at my age. But hey, you have to have fun while you can. The gearing is spot on, especially for climbing, having a close to one-to-one -one ratio in low gear. Now, there was one time when uh, I, I was stopped in fourth at an intersection, and I was sitting pretty upright. When I took off, I felt the front unweight a bit, as if it was going to pull a wheelie. Oh, and I almost forgot. The bike weighs 22.71 pounds without pedals. I think I am going to enjoy this bike for a long time to come. And so far, I haven't found much about it that I feel like I need to change. And that is unusual for me because I can't leave anything alone once I get my hands on it. There is a playlist link below left to the Nishiki Maricopa, which I mentioned earlier. And there's a link below right to something else that I think you will probably enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching. Seriously, I do appreciate that. Goodbye and have a great day.